maybe for for some of you you will want to just go to a certain area because it's very beautiful you saw pictures of it and you really want to go live there um, so it is all up to you, but there's so much to discover in China. And even if you are deciding that you want to travel, it's great to travel within China. There's so many different options and different places that you can go to. Each province is so big and it's like a different country. It's for, the, the area is very different. So let's take a look at our agenda for this, uh, this open day. Um, so after the introduction, we have East China University of Science and Technology that will be speaking about their Chinese language program. After them, we will have the Beijing Language and Culture University's Online Education College for those of you who um, would like a little bit more flexibility or maybe you want to prepare for your Chinese language program beforehand by doing some online Chinese courses. Then we have Tianjin University's Chinese language program. Uh, then we have Beijing Institute of Technology's language program. And then we have Dongbei University of Finance and Economics um, Chinese language program. Keep in mind that almost all of them, except for Beijing Language and Culture University's online education college, are going to be talking about their offline uh, spring intake Chinese language program. And then afterwards, I'll tell you a bit more about China admissions, how you can apply um, and uh, moving forward and everything about our company. So uh, just a, a brief introduction to how it works when you apply apply to China admissions. I will go over this again once we um, we finish, uh, but China admissions is one of the largest platforms that you can for students to apply to Chinese universities. We have thousands of programs to choose from. We have thousands of um, students that have already applied through us. And as you can see, this is the interface. It is really easy to apply and to search for the programs that you want to search. And you have a lot of different ways that you can sort your different options from highest rated to top ranked to the tuition, lowest to highest, highest to lowest, what degree type you want to study, which area you want to study, which subject you want to study. There's a lot of different ways that you can search. So this definitely makes it so much easier. We also have um, blogs as well. Um, and also on our YouTube channel, we have our blogs. So you can take a look at all the advice that we give over there, um, the free advice, which is so helpful for students as well. Then we also have our sister company, Global Admissions, which helps students apply to universities all over the world. So if you are planning or, or you have a friend that wants to go and study in a country outside of China or a different country, um, you can take a look at that and then you can apply to universities such as that in Canada, in uh, Cape Town, in Australia, wherever. So let's go give it up for our first uh, university, East China University of Science and Technology. Uh, welcome. Welcome here. Okay. All right. So can I share my screen? Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. I'm Miss Wang from East China University of Science and Technology. We are located in Shanghai. As the host introduced that uh, it's huge in China. So let's took, uh, take a look at uh, the, the middle part of China, Shanghai. And uh, um, it's our honor to participate to this webinar and many thanks to uh, China Admissions for providing us such a good platform to meet you all, right? Uh, for uh, today's uh, introduction, we will have uh, uh, four parts about the city where we are located and about our university uh, and also uh, the Chinese language program and how to apply for it. Okay, let's move to the first part about Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai is no doubt the most international city in China with the uh, city characteristics of openness, innovation, and also safety. And most global 500 companies have offices in Shanghai as well. Uh, in Shanghai, you will see not only the longest uh, bridge, Donghai Bridge across the sea, and also uh, the top, uh, the uh, number one 
deep water port uh, of Shanghai Yangshan, a uh, deep, deep water port. Uh, also, uh, you will see the modern CBD. Besides, you will also find the traditional buildings, Yu Garden, etc. And also you can enjoy both uh, different kinds of uh, Eastern and Western cuisine in Shanghai. Okay, so now let's move to uh, the university. Our university, uh, ECAST, was founded in year 1952. Uh, over 70 years development, we have become a comprehensive university and among national double first class initiative university. And ranking around uh, 30 something among uh, 2,700 universities in China and also top five in Shanghai. And we got eight disciplines rank world top 1% according to ESI data, which uh, include chemistry, materials science, engineering, computer science, agriculture science, biology, and bio, uh, biochemistry, etc. Uh, we are for sure strong in uh, engineering science related programs. Besides, we are also special in business art design related programs. Okay. Not only we have the professional team, we also have complete facilities, as you can see in the picture. And also uh, our graduates are highly, uh, are highly uh, appreciated by employers, which makes us uh, uh, ranking as uh, 16th in terms of global graduate employment competitiveness. Okay, let's take a look uh, of our campus. Uh, through some pictures. These are, these are one of our campus. We have mainly two campuses. This is our Xu Hui campus uh, uh, at downtown of Shanghai. And the Chinese, uh, Chinese program, uh, Chinese language program studies, uh, students are uh, uh, living in this campus and also study here. And we have another campus uh, a bit far from the, downtown and it, it is very large and very nice with a lake surrounded in, in the campus. Okay, uh, in two campuses, we have uh, uh, over 10 canteens so, so that you can enjoy different kinds of cuisine as well, even in the campus. Okay, and this, these are the pictures from our uh, dorm for international students. Uh, currently we have only single room and we have the public uh, uh, single room with the separate bathroom and balcony. Besides we have the public uh, laundry and also public uh, kitchen so that you can cook by yourself. And uh, living, in Xu Hui campus, it's very uh, convenient for traffic because we, uh, we are close to uh, the subway station, which is named under our university name, East China University of Science and Technology, you can see here. And so that you can take the, the subway to everywhere in Shanghai easily. Uh, besides, we also have uh, the uh, hypermarkets and supermarkets uh, outside of the campus. Uh, even inside inside of the campus, we have the uh, shop shop shops shop streets, so that you can uh, students can buy almost everything uh, inside campus as well. Besides, uh, if uh, you are fond of sports, you can easily find uh, the indoor swimming pool and also outdoor basketball. Uh, found, etc. Besides the uh, study, we also arrange uh, different kinds of activities uh, for, so that students can uh, experience the Chinese culture, like the dragon boat race, uh, paper cut, and also Beijing Emperor Chinese Kung Fu, uh, etc. 
the, the students are uh, very uh, interested in participate the International Cultural Festival every year because uh, they can share uh, in, they can share their uh, food, uh, their clothes, and also uh, the different cultures for from their countries. Okay, now let's move to uh, the third part. Uh, because Chinese language uh, is among non-degree programs, so uh, we will take a look. For non-degree programs, we also have pre-university program and also the tailor-made program. And students to study in uh, study Ch Chinese in our university with about a few hundred students each semester. And we offer a small size uh, classes for the international students to study uh, language, Chinese language, usually less than 20 students per class. And uh, the students are classified into different, uh, different levels, uh, starting from the elementary level to uh, intermediate level and uh, end up at, as uh, advanced level. And we have a professional teachers. Uh, basically, we have eight professional full-time Chinese teachers. Besides, we also have some uh, part-time teachers uh, to, to, uh, to serve the students. They are all, uh, the, our full-time uh, full teachers, they are all with over 10 years uh, teaching experience uh, in terms of Chinese language uh, teaching. And we offer both long-term and short-term uh, program to help students to improve the Chinese ability uh, at, uh, at, at one semester, in one semester or uh, two semesters or even, even more. And the short-term uh, uh, la uh, Chinese language program to experience the Chinese culture uh, just for a few weeks in winter or summer vacation. And the classes uh, are usually arranged in the morning from Monday to Friday. Okay. And for, for each semester, it will be 18 weeks. During the, the afternoons, uh, activities will be arranged from time to time. Okay. So after uh, complete the Chinese language study, uh, the students can, of, of course, to get the uh, completion certificate. Besides, uh, they will have the priority to be admitted by our degree programs, uh, uh, including the undergraduate program uh, and uh, uh, master's, also PhD programs. They, are also, they will also get recommended for some job op opportunities. Okay. For uh, the non-degree programs, we also have scholarships to offer. Uh, we, for the moment, we, we mainly have uh, four types of uh, scholarships. Uh, the first one is Chinese government scholarship. Uh, the candidates are supposed to uh, contact, uh, apply and contact with the uh, local Chinese embassy directly for this, for this uh, scholarship. And the second one is International Chinese Language Teachers uh, Scholarship. Uh, it, it also needs to contact with the, uh, the uh, Confucius Institute, local Confucius Institute or embassy to get uh, the um, recommendation letter to uh, apply for this, this program. Besides, uh, our university offer, also offer two, another two uh, scholarships including international student enterprise scholarship and also Chinese language student scholarship, okay, for uh, the outstanding student uh, based on their, uh, the overall performance. Okay, here are some, oops, one sec. Here are some uh, students, uh, they have uh, some good comments when uh, they, have, they, they studied uh, Chinese language in our university. 
One is from uh, uh, Russia and another one is from uh, Ukraine. So the last part is about uh, uh, the application process. Let me check the time. Okay. Right. Uh, all our pro uh, all our applications are uh, submitted online, and this is our only uh, website, apply.ecaster.edu.cn. And of course, you can get help from China Admission to help you submit the application. And uh, all uh, once the application application is reviewed, uh, we we will uh, probably uh, interview the students and then if you are lucky to get admitted, uh, we will prepare the uh, uh, related documents for visa application so that you can fly to uh, Shanghai for the offline study. Okay. And uh, due to the limited time, uh, you can also uh, find us through the several ways. You can call us, and also you can email us. And uh, uh, if you have WeChat, you can also uh, scan and uh, uh, and uh, pay attention to, to the messages from our uh, WeChat official account. And also you can, you're welcome to follow us at Facebook, uh, TikTok and Inks at eCast1025.1, uh, right? Besides, you can also contact the China Admission uh, to uh, to 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 get help. Okay, so uh, I think uh, um, yeah, that would there be... there are a couple of questions from students. Okay. So one mm -hmm. of the questions is: Is there any age limit for applying for the Chinese language program? Uh, uh, uh be uh, be uh, uh, over over sixteen to uh, sixty is okay. Okay, the, the so under under sixty price, until yeah, sixty. Price, price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. And um, uh, can you also just describe possibly um, uh, uh, sorry, just let me get the question here mm -hmm. again. I'm seventeen. Is it is it this question? Oh yes, yes. For the student that said they're seventeen, can they still apply? Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> as long as okay. you are interested in Chinese Chinese language study, uh, you are all welcome. Great, and it's also a great opportunity that students will have uh, their scholarship opportunities available as well. So I'm sure this will be a very popular choice. A lot of students are very interested in studying in Shanghai. It's a very popular city for foreigners to study in. Um, mm -hmm. So here is another great option for everyone. Thank you so much for, for um, giving us uh, an inside look into studying at ECAST. Um, and mm -hmm. I'm sure that was very helpful. So now we need to move on to our next candidate. So next up, we have Angela from uh, Beijing Language and Culture University's um, Online Education College. So welcome, Angela. Hi, hi. thank you, Seth. Uh, can you hear me well? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, let me share my screen first. Yep, can you see my screen right now? Yes. Okay, so hi, good afternoon, everyone. This is Angela from Beijing Language and Culture University Online Education College. So today we are go uh, I'm going to introduce about our online programs. So uh, here is a QR code of my WeChat. So if you have WeChat, uh, you want to contact me and get more details about co our courses later, you can scan the QR code. I will have the QR code on each page. So uh, let me first introduce our university. I guess a lot of you already heard about us. So we are Beijing Language and Culture University or BLCU. Uh, we are a university that directly under the Ministry of Education of uh, China. So our university is known as the Mini United Nations. It is the uh, university, uh, only university in its kind in China that specializes in offering Chinese language and culture courses to foreign students. And also in the area of teaching Chinese as a foreign language, and the promotion of Chinese culture, uh, BLCU has the longest history, the largest size, and the most well-qualified academic faculties. 
So uh, our university has trained some 220,000 foreign students from like almost uh, 200 countries and regions. That's about our university, but for us, we are part of the university. We are the online education college. And we founded in like two, uh, uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> so uh, for our department, we take uh, eblcu.com as our platform. Uh, we mainly focus on cross-border distance Chinese international education and international promotion of Chinese culture. So uh, let me do a short introduction about uh, our courses. So BLCU, our university, uh, they have three kinds of uh, courses. So degree program uh, and intensive non-degree program. Those two kinds of courses, you need to apply it from the admission office, international admission office of our university. This is the website. Uh, and the courses are uh, classroom based and it, they have uh, scholarships. But for us, uh, we are the online education college. We only offer nine degree programs for part-time learning. So this is our website and we only offer online classes and the classes are rolling all year. So anytime uh, you can apply for a, a course, uh, join a group or study one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, our course is mainly uh, divided into three uh, parts. So Chinese learning courses, uh, Chinese culture courses, and also we have Chinese teacher training courses, the three parts. And those are uh, the courses that we have. For Chinese language courses, we have general Chinese, business Chinese, and also Chinese for children and youth. Um, for Chinese culture courses, we have two uh, cultural courses. Uh, you can find all of the courses from China Nations too. And for Chinese teacher training courses, uh, we have two programs. Uh, one is for uh, International Chinese Teacher Training Program, or we call it ICTT. So that is mainly for uh, people like uh, not living in China, but want to be a Chinese teacher. Uh, and it requires an HSK 5 for uh, the, the level. You want to be a Chinese teacher, you can join this. And this one is a new program. <clears throat> Uh, that certificate uh, training program. So if you want to be a teacher in Confucius Institutes, uh, you may need this certificate, like to be a Chinese teacher. And uh, we have the training course for the exam. All right, then uh, I will start from the Chinese co uh, courses first. First one is the uh, general graded Chinese. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, many of our courses right now, we have uh, discounts uh, from 20% off to 40% off uh, by the end of September. So we have this one, uh, general Chinese uh, group class, business Chinese group class, and also Chinese teacher uh, training courses and Chinese for children to use those courses we have discount right now. So firstly, I will introduce the Chinese uh, courses. So general Chinese course, um, this is a uh, 12 weeks group class for HSK one to five. It's a part-time learning program. Uh, we have 10 levels you can see here from very beginning to HSK five. Each of our level, you can go through about half of the HSK level. Um, so during the 12 weeks learning, you will have one class per week, uh, which is one hour of study. And the prices here, uh, we have 20% off. Original price is 1,680 RMB. And right now is uh, 1,344. Uh, 1,344 RMB uh, right now. So how to study? So this is the uh, um, 
steps you need to do to study this course. So firstly, you need to register and pay. You can register from China Nations. Also, you can register from our website, www.eblc.com, uh, and then pay online and with credit card, with uh, WeChat Pay or Alipay goes okay. And then you need to contact me for a level test and then choose your available class time. We have teachers working from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Beijing time, seven days a week. So almost if we can cover all of the time zones, no matter where you are, you can choose to study online. And then uh, you need to wait for your group to start. So usually after registration, you need to wait one to four weeks after it. And the maximum time for you to wait is four weeks. And then we will uh, confirm the starting time and start your learning. And for one level, uh, one set of classes is 12 weeks. And when we when you finish the uh, 12 weeks learning in the last week, we will have a final exam. And uh, if you pass it, like the 12 weeks learning is like that. Like every week you have one hour uh, group class, but before the class, you need to uh, preview some learning materials that we provided for you online and uh, study by yourself and take one hour uh, group class with the teacher and other students. And after class, you also need to uh, write some homework. And also we have some listening for you to prepare for the next week, then repeat for uh, 12 weeks. Then you have the final exam. If you pass it, uh, you can apply for a certificate from our university to prove like what course you had with us. Yep, this is the uh, general Chinese for HSK 1 to uh, 5. Um, some students may ask if I want to prepare for HSK 6 or higher level, or I have a special uh, learning need. Maybe I want to practice oral speaking more. I want to practice Chinese characters. I want to prepare for writing. Uh, anything else, you can choose this one. Like, personalized one-on-one -on -one class. So uh, this course is more flexible because you only have yourself in the class. You can choose to have multiple classes during a week. So the time is more flexible. So uh, the, the price is a little higher than a group class is uh, 180 RMB per class. And uh, we have different packages from 30 classes to 150 classes and you will get some discounts if you purchase more than 60 classes at one time. So that's the one-on-one. -on -one. Then uh, we also have business Chinese. So if you are interested in doing business with Chinese people or work uh, here in China, uh, so this course may suit you. Um, this course is designed for uh, um, students who have the means of learning business Chinese. So uh, it's in a study in an online flipped classroom uh, learning mode. So which means um, uh, each week, we, this course is also 12 weeks program, but each week you need to watch some videos first, and then you have a lab section together with the teacher. So study by yourself first, do homework, then take one hour study with the teacher and other students. And then uh, you have a weekly quiz. And then next week, repeat the same for 12 weeks per level. And right now this course, we also have a discount. Original prices, uh, 1,800 RMB. Right now is 20% off, uh, 1,500 RMB. And also we have an auto version. So in case you don't have time to do the lab section, uh, you want to learn by yourself. Uh, we have auto version. You can just learn uh, by the videos and you do the homework and our teachers will help you to correct your homeworks. So that is cheaper, uh, 800 RMB for one level, 12 weeks learning. Yeah, 20% off uh, for this one, for the lab version. So uh, for business Chinese, we have nine levels. Start from the very beginning to advanced level. And yes, I can start business Chinese 
uh, from very beginning. So if you haven't learned Chinese before, uh, you also can start business trainings. Um, so any level you can learn this. Um, in case someone will ask me uh, what the difference between business Chinese and general Chinese, uh, the words mainly not the same. A business Chinese, we will learn more words and topics about uh, formal business occasion. So for any level, it may uh, not the same as the general Chinese. For general Chinese, uh, our courses basically um, uh, follow the HSK uh, system. For business Chinese, we will learn more formal and working occasion used Chinese language. And also if you have keys, uh, you want your keys, your key to learn Chinese. And we also have uh, Chinese for children and youth that is designed for students uh, from six to 16. So uh, for keys class, we will use more pictures, uh, Chinese songs, uh, games uh, to help the students to learn with fun. And right now we also have 20% off for this course. This is the original price and you have 20% off right now. Also for uh, if you want to learn Chinese culture, but you don't know any Chinese, we have this contemporary China and Chinese culture course. You can study uh, Chinese culture. Uh, uh, this course is in, in, in teaching in English. You can find it in, from China Misha's uh, website too. Also, uh, you want to know deeper about a certain topic of Chinese culture, uh, this course may suit to you. We have 12 topics about Chinese culture in today's China series courses. Uh, this course we have, uh, it's taught in Chinese, but with English subtitles. Uh, the next uh, is about the Chinese teacher training course. So uh, if you are planning to be a Chinese teacher in the future, if you already know Chinese right now, uh, then maybe this course is suit you. Um, so this one, ICTP, International Chinese Language Teacher Training Program, uh, is mainly designed for uh, students that uh, uh, not in China, not able to take any training uh, from a Chinese university, and we can do it online. And we already have a lot of students from different countries, uh, Chinese or uh, foreign, that foreigner that can speak Chinese very well. And uh, already uh, a Chinese teacher, or I want to be a Chinese teacher in the future. And as you all know, uh, Beijing Language and Culture University is very famous for like Chinese teacher training too. So we have a lot of professors that is very experienced um, in um, teaching Chinese as the second language and training Chinese teachers. So those are the courses. So for this SATP program, we have 10 courses and it's divided into A and B, two packages. So package A and B, if you uh, haven't learned any uh, knowledge about uh, like a Chinese language or grammar and itself, um, you can start from A. But if you already have a background of uh, studying Chinese or like you graduate uh, with a, a degree of major in Chi Chinese, then you can just choose B. Like uh, it's helping uh, you to improve your teaching skills. So uh, for uh, each package, it costs this. And right now we have 40% uh, off of this course. Yep. And uh, yeah, this is the certificate uh, for our university. Yep. If you finish any of the course, you can uh, apply for a certificate like this. Yep, then uh, this one, the uh, last one is the uh, 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 training course. This course is designed for uh, someone want to be a Chinese, to be a Chinese teacher working here in China or working for any uh, Confucius Institute. And we have the course to prepare for the test uh, to get the certificate. Yep, 
then that's pretty much all for all of the our courses. And then get back to the introduction of different courses. Yeah, those are the courses that we have in total. Thank so, you so yeah, much. That's yeah, thank you so much, Angela. Um, so for all of you that are interested in doing um, an online Chinese program, there are so many to choose from, really, as you've seen, and they have their special discount. It's not going to be available uh, for much longer. So if you are wanting to um, enroll in a Chinese language course, or maybe you want to sharpen up your Chinese language skills from before, maybe you want to learn some business Chinese, maybe you want to learn um, some of the... Uh, a bit more about the culture of Chinese um, without having to learn Chinese at the moment, um, then now is definitely the time to um, enroll and use the discount and uh, fully take advantage of the opportunity that is presented at the moment. Thank you so much, Angela, and thank you so much to uh, BLCU's Online Education College. Yeah, thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Okay, so now we are moving on uh, to our next speaker from Tianjin University. So welcome here at our online open day. Thank you so much for joining. I can't wait to hear more about Tianjin University. Okay, thank you, China Admissions, and thank you for this opportunity to share our university to all of you. And today we are going to, uh, so can I share my screen now? Yes. Okay. Okay, can you see that? Yes. No problem. Okay. Hello everyone. I'm going to introduce our international students admissions. And I'm Chen Yu from Tianjin University. And on the first page, we put our WeChat group code that you can scan the QR code for the application issues. Okay. And our presentation will start in four parts. The first one is why Tianjin and why TJU. And I will introduce the life in TJU and how to apply for Tianjin University. So with the history of more than 600 years, Tianjin has a unique city features and style where the East meets the West and the modern merges with the past. And it's a very uh, ideal place to study because uh, it's only take 30 minutes, uh, minutes city express train from Beijing. And there's totally three international airports near Tianjin which is Tianjin Binhai Airport and Beijing Daxing Airport and the Capital Airport. So Tianjin uh, has the very good climate with four distinct seasons and convenient transportations. Also, we have the moderate living cost and for the living cost is on average uh, uh, 2,000 per mass in RMB. And in the right, you can see some uh, sceneries in Tianjin. And this one is the February uh, on across the river. It's called Tianjin Eye. It's designed by the professors of Tianjin University. And you also can taste some traditional Tianjin foods and also the traditional Tianjin culture. So uh, Tianjin University was founded in 1895 as Peiyang University, and it has renamed in 1951 as Tianjin University. For the following years, it has been selected into the 16 national key universities and also in the 201 projects and uh, 985 projects. And we also have some firsts in the history of China's higher education. So this is the ranking about our Tianjin University. This shows the academic schools that the Tianjin University has. So if you uh, want to continue your study after the Chinese language uh, program, you can just uh, choose our university as your idol uh, university to study uh, your uh, master or PhD. And also this is our ESI ranking. 
In the recent years, we have uh, almost uh, 14 disciplines uh, which topped uh, 1%. And also we have three uh, topped uh, 1,000 and 10,000 for the engineering discipline. This shows our famous professors and Mr. Jin Donghan is the, our president. So Tianjin University is an international university with the corporates uh, with over 256 partners all over the world. And we also have three overseas Confucius Institutes. So this is uh, our alumni from international students. And also we have competitive tuition fees. And you can see that uh, according to the ranking, we are in the uh, 232nd and we have uh, compared uh, other universities, our tuition fee is much cheaper. So this is the uh, in uh, introduction of our tuition fee for degree programs. And also we have the application group code, you can scan that. This shows our programs taught in English. If you don't know Chinese, you can just choose these programs as you are to start as to continue your study. And let's uh, pay attention to our non degree programs. We have foundation programs and visiting students programs, and of course Chinese program and short term programs as well. So you can apply uh, for the uh, full semester enrollment uh, from the March. And also you can apply for our spring semester from this October. And this is the introduction of our foundation programs. We have small class sizes and they all uh, teach something about the bachelor. And we provide the courses about mathematics, physics, and the chemistries for their further studies. And also, we have Chinese language program. Our Chinese language program includes several classes. And after one year's study, our students can get at least a HSK4. Or if you work hard, you can get a higher level such as HSK 5 or 6. And we have over 10 Chinese teachers with over 10 years experience. And uh, our students are divided in seven classes, uh, which, which is the A from F for different student level. If you are the beginner, you will uh, study in class A. And if you have uh, some experience in Chinese, you will be divided into the class F. And we also have some uh, Chinese culture courses. You can see that in our slide. Now let's talk about the scholarship. We provide two scholarships for our Chinese language program, which one is the Chinese, the first one is the Chinese government scholarship type A. And you need to apply for it to the Chinese um, uh, embassies. And also we have the International Chinese Language Teachers Scholarship. You can apply to the Confucius Affairs Office in our university. And let's talk about the life in Tianjin University. So we have two campuses and we have Weijin Road campuses, which is in the center of Tianjin. And also we have Peiyang Park University is a uh, 20 five kilometers away from Weijin Road campuses. And our Chinese course will uh, be given in the Weijin Road campus. So you are in the city of, you are in the center of city. We also have the metro line for the transportation. This shows some pictures of our Weijin Road campus. And also this is for the Peiyang Park campus. So we have a lot of facilities that can make our students have a better life in Tianjin University. We have uh, the library called Zhengdong is the most beautiful 
library in Tianjin. And also we have the autonomous express car. This is just our classrooms. And about commendation, accommodation free is about uh, 1500 uh, or 1800 yuan per mass. And we also have at least five containers in rich campuses. We also host a lot of activities for our students and take, uh, take the Beyond lecture, for example. We have invited the Nobel Prize winner Mo Yan and the Prime Minister of Denmark who to give out uh, the lecture to our students. And also we have some other activities such as student societies and international culture festivals. And also our university is famous for our Bagonia Flower Festival. All the people in Tianjin can get into Tianjin University to see the Bagonia flowers. And let's see some how to apply for our Chinese language program. First, you need to be non-Chinese citizens and you need to be between the age of 16 to 40. And you need to get at least your graduate certificate of high school. So you need to submit all the documents in our system. You can see that it's the documents required. You need to scan your diploma. You need to submit your transcripts, your passport and your study experience and your physical med uh, medical report and also the non-criminal records. So this is the application process. You need to apply online and you need also can get the help from the China admissions. And after that, you will get our admission if you passed all the evaluation. So you can connect with us by telephone or you can just uh, visit our website. Also, we have the uh, FAQ robot, Hai Xiao Tang. This is uh, some uh, introduction of our stuff. And also, we also have some student ambassador. You can see their videos on YouTube and you can see how they study in Tianjin University. Welcome to Tianjin University. And again, this is the uh, group QR code and also for WhatsApp. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your uh, introduction into Tianjin University's different programs. So as you guys can see, there are so many different programs, including the foundation program, which there are not that many foundation programs for international students in China. So this is a great opportunity for students who do want to do a foundation program to also look into Tianjin University. Um, and then also for the fact that you can apply for the spring intake or the summer intake. So um, and yes, a lot of a lot of students are interested um in living around um beijing and uh, tianjin is a really great option as well uh, i had a wonderful chinese language teacher from tianjin um and she used to say that uh people from tianjin when they speak chinese it sounds like they're singing they always have a very nice voice so if you go there to learn chinese you'll probably have a great chinese speaking voice as well um great so some of the questions that people have had okay. um for this um they did ask about the age limit mm -hmm. uh, you just mentioned it earlier maybe you can mention it again yes our uh, student need to between the age of 16 to 40. Mm -hmm. okay great and then another one um a lot of students are interested in getting to a certain level of hsk um if mm -hmm. they are at um a zero if they're at a beginning in our level and they want to get to HSK five, how many semesters do you think that would take of studying um, a Chinese language program? Yes, normally our students after one year study, they may get HSK four at least. Mm -hmm. uh, if you work hard, you may get HSK five for in two semesters or in three semesters, it's okay. Okay, great, thank you so much. Thank you very much.
Okay, great. So there you guys see um, the different WeChat groups and WhatsApp groups as well. So if you don't have WeChat yet, um, then you can uh, scan the QR code and join the WhatsApp group. Or if you have WeChat, you can um, join at the application group uh, and make sure to stick around until the end where we explain how to apply um, through China Admissions. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And next up, we have um, Beijing Institute of Technology presenting their Chinese language program for the spring intake. So welcome uh, to the online open day. Okay, thank you very much, Sophia, for putting everything together. And thank you very much for um, being here, everyone. And um, I'm going to share my screen right now. Okay, so, okay. So my name is Claire and I work at the admission section um, in the Office for International Students. And today I'm going to introduce our Chinese language program. Um, so first of all, let's take a look at the overview of CIT. Um, okay, so first of all, our university was founded in 1940 in Yan'an. So we did not found in, we, we were not founded in Beijing. We were founded in another province actually. And then um, in the year of 1949, we moved to Beijing. And in the year 1952, we changed our name to Beijing Institute of Technology officially. Um, and we also changed our Chinese name in the year 1988. And so if you um, are familiar with like the education system in China, you probably are aware of Project 211, Project 985, and also Double First Class program. And we are actually among each single single one of these programs. So um, let's take a look at our world ranking. Um, so first of all, um, in the last year, um, our ranking um, in the QS World University Ranking has uh, increased to 340 globally and 17 within China. And also um, on the US News and World Report, um, we are ranked we are ranked around like 298. And if you take a look at the chart, you can probably easily to find out that our world ranking has been improving uh, constantly throughout the past few years. And um, also our campuses. So we have three campuses in total. We have a Xishan campus. That one is uh, mostly for the purpose of research. Um, and we have Zhongguancun campus. This one is our main campus. And it is located more in the downtown area of Beijing. And um, we also have a bigger campus um, in Liangxiang. So um, the campus in Liangxiang is like really big and beautiful. It's about the three, like three times or four times of the size of Zhongguancun campus. Um, but like um, our students are mostly in Zhongguancun campus or Liangxiang campus. And if you choose to come to study in the Chinese language program, you will be on Zhongguancun campus, which is the one that's in the downtown area of Beijing. And uh, most of our undergraduate students, they will be studying on their young campus. And uh, all of the three campuses are located in Beijing. So if you're really looking for a university in the capital of China, um, yeah, you can choose us so that you can like live in Beijing and study in Beijing, explore Beijing. And we have currently um, over 2,700 international students on campus. And um, they are from over, um, they are from 149 different countries. And as you can see, half of our international students are from Asia. And we also have a lot of them from Europe. We have some from Africa, America, and Oceania. Okay, so um, let's talk about the Chinese language program. So first of all, we have three different levels. So we have basic, intermediate, and advanced level. So after um, you're enrolled in BIT, um, after you report to BIT, your arrival at BIT, we will give you a placement test. So the placement test, um, basically, it just decides like which class you will be studying in. So, um, so that because we really want to give you the opportunity to study um, in the class that benefits you the most. So the curriculum that is um, that suits you the best. 
So we will give you a placement test and according to the result of the test, you will be placed into the right class for you. Um, and it actually depends on um, the student's um, language proficiency level each year, how many different levels we are going to provide. And um, so you can um, apply for one semester or a one year program. And each semester we have 16 weeks and you will be taking classes for about uh, 20 hours per week. And we have a lot of academic practices for our students. So our students um, are actually very active um, in like different activities, um, not only on campus, but also outside of campus. So like they participated in like China International Software Expo. I think that these are mostly our degree students. Um, and we also have like four teams. Um, our soccer team is actually pretty famous in Beijing. And David Beckham actually visited our school in 2018. And we also have like rich sports and cultural events, for example, the International Culture Festival. So you will get the opportunity to perform on the stage and you can also apply for a booth for your country so that you can like set out different things from your country. You can display um, the culture, the background of your country and make some friends. And uh, um, students also participate in different forums and events. And also um, in the year 2022, um, you know that um, Winter Olympics was held in Beijing and we have a lot of students being volunteers in that event. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how to apply um, like the eligibility and the application procedures. Okay, so first of all, of course, you can reach out to China Admissions um, so that they can like help you to prepare for the application, the materials, um, and everything. Okay, I'm so sorry. Can you hear me right now? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay, sorry about that. I had a very unstable internet just now. So no um, problem. Where, where did you lose me? Like, did, did you hear? Um, um, with the start of the application, how to apply. Oh, okay, <clears throat> okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, yeah, so for application, of course, you can reach out to China Admissions for help. So that um, like for filling out the forms, preparing a document. Um, so first of all, um, like you don't need to mail up anything. So everything can be done from online. So we don't need any hard copies of your documents. Um, well, except if you're under 18 years of age. So I will talk about that later. Okay, and um, so when you're submitting your application, you can do it on apply.isc.vit.edu.cn. That's our official website for application. And if you are applying for the International Chinese Teachers Language Program, um, the scholarship, um, you will also need to fill out an application on cis.chinese.cn. Okay, so we will do a material review. Um, and then um, you will need to uh, pay for an application fee. And after you, after you pay the fee, we will arrange an online interview. So mostly um, it will be done on WeChat. So we will give you a video call and do the online interview. Okay, and then um, after the interview, um, you will receive a pre-admission letter from us. And if you are a self-support self student, you will need to pay for a tuition. And then um, you will be admitted 
officially into the program. And for our application deadline, so if you are interested in the spring semester intake, which starts in March of the next year, um, you can um, submit your application anytime after October 15th and then before December 31st. So our deadline is December 31st and our application system opens on October 15th. Okay, so if you are interested in a one year program, then you will be in the September intake group. So uh, for that group, you can also submit your application after October 15th, but the deadline is later. So the deadline is June 15th of 2024. Okay, so don't miss um, the application deadline. Okay, um, so here are some of the required documents that you need to submit when you are filling out the application. Um, so I think these are pretty straightforward. Um, just pay a little bit of attention to number six. So if you are under 18, you really need to submit um, your guardian supporting documents as soon as possible after you submit the application because sometimes the process can take um, can take longer than you expect. So yeah, just please be prepared for that. Okay. And um, we do not have any um, scholarship from the university for our Chinese language program, but we are um, accepting students who are applying for the International Chinese Language Teacher Scholarship. <laughs> Excuse me. So um, yeah, so for the Chinese language program, um, they have they do have two different options. So you can choose the one academic year uh, study, um, and, or you can choose the one semester program. And um, here you can see the requirements um, for HSK. So that means if you do not have an HSK score, then you would not be able to apply for the scholarship. Um, if you want to apply for the scholarship, you have to meet um, the certain requirements. And this scholarship. Um, it's actually issued by the Center for um, Language Education and Cooperation. So they will assess your application and then they will release the results to us. Okay, and um, so some of um, some information about the language program. So the duration can be one or two semesters. And for the application fee, it'll be 500 RMB. Um, and uh, for the tuition, it'll be 10,000 RMB every semester. And then um, every semester, you will need to pay for the comprehensive insurance, that is um, 400 RMB. And for the accommodation, um, we only need to look at the Zhongguanzun campus because language uh, students will be studying on Zhongguanzun campus. So you will have the option for two people shared room, three people shared room, or four people shared room. And um, the sides are different, and you will be asked for your preference um, when, uh, like, after you're admitted into the program. So we will collect your preference, um, so that uh, well, it's uh, we cannot guarantee that you will get your the best, most preferred um, type of um, dormitory room. But we will ask for your preference, and we will try our best to put you in um, the room that you prefer. So if you take a look at the left side um, of the slide, so these are some pictures um, of the dormitory rooms on Zhongguanzun campus. Um, and the one on the right is for Nelson campus, that's for our undergraduate students. And um, because you will be studying um, on Zhongguanzun campus, which is close to the downtown part of Beijing, so actually life periods can be like pretty convenient. So we have um, like all pretty much everything you need in your daily life around campus. Um, so we have banks, post offices, grocery stores, bookstores, um, and even hotels and gyms. And we do have a lot of dining halls on campus. So that's very convenient. Um, so you can take a look at this part. It's a map of our Zulwensen campus. So you can see like um, the surrounding, like we have um, all kinds of things that you need um, in your everyday life. And lastly, if you have any questions, um, you can ask China Admissions, or you can also email us at CISBIC 
2014 at So this one is our email address for um, the Chinese language program. And um, we check the mailbox every weekday. So we will make sure that we get back to your questions. Okay, I think that's every, pretty much everything um, I need to say today. So Sophia, um, I wonder if there's any questions. Uh, yes, there there are some questions. I mean, the, the general question that people do tend to ask is if there is an age limit for people applying for the Chinese language programs. Yeah, sure. So for our university, um, you need to be above 16 years old and under 35 years old. Okay, so um, above 16, under 35. Yes, and if you're under 18, um, you need to submit um, additional documents. Okay, great, great. Um, and how would you say the campus life is like on BIT for international students? Is it a very welcoming experience? Mm, yeah, I think pretty much from I, what I hear from the, our students, I think it's pretty convenient. Um, and because we arrange a lot of activities for the students to explore um, the language and also the culture of China, um, I think they get a pretty good opportunities here. Um, to like learn about China um, and learn about the language. Like last week, our um, language students, they just had a trip to the Great Wall. So yeah, isn't it convenient that you study in Beijing? So like you have all these opportunities to visit like the really famous spot in the city. Right, yes. And then also uh, BIT is very much known for its uh, engineering degrees and for natural sciences in general for um, students to study, um, whether they're international or Chinese. So um, if a student wants to do the Chinese language program and then wants to also later after the Chinese language program apply for a different program, maybe an engineering bachelor's or something like that, is it uh, is that possible? Yes, sure. So like, for example, for our undergraduate program and graduate program, the so master's and PhD, um, we only have um, fall intake. So you, you can uh, join us in September. Um, so um, yeah, and like if you submit your application, um, then our application system always open on October 15th of the year. Um, so okay. you can do the same thing, you can apply online. And we do have um, Chinese taught programs and English taught programs for both our undergraduate and graduate programs. Um, like for undergrad programs, we have seven English taught majors and mm -hmm. um, about 46 Chinese taught programs. But like if you advance your um, academic journey and go to PhD, um, the PhD programs, like you can choose any major in the English taught program. So yeah, we have a wide variety um, of options for you to choose. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much um, for presenting and giving everyone an insight into BIT. Um, and uh, yes, I think that this is a great option for a lot of students, especially, of course, a lot of uh, international students. The first one of the first places they think of studying is in uh, is in Beijing. So there are a lot of universities to choose from over there. So hopefully this gives them an insight into one of the universities there. So thank you so much for presenting. Yeah, thank you. For the Goodbye. Okay, great. And um, now we have uh, Dongbei University of Finance and Economics, also known as Duffy, here to talk about their Chinese language programs. Thank you so much for joining. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Could you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. So I'm going to share the screen, please. Great. Uh, I heard my colleague shared about the university in Dalian and the university in Tianjin. It's all great university and they have a great advantage about their location because it's in Beijing, Tianjin, which we call the first line cities of China. Uh, but our university, Dongbei University of Finance Economics, also have its advantage. And I will not compete with the history and the location with of my colleagues, but I will tell you something about our university. And I believe our location and the university specialty also have some advantages as well. Of course, as you can see from our names, our university is focused on the social science, like finance, economics, 
but we have a long history of the Chinese language teaching as well. First of all, where we located, we located in Dalian. Some of the students may heard of that. Dalian is the second tier city in China, uh, which is in the northeast of China, and it's lo located in the Liaoning province. Dalian has a population of 7 million population. It's a medium-sized city compared with Beijing, Shanghai, or Guangzhou. But uh, uh, from a geographic point of view, it's very close to Beijing. For example, we take a flight to Beijing, it's about one hour. High-speed train is about three half an hour. To Shanghai, it's about two hours by flight. We are very close to South Korea and Japan as well. It's about one hour or two hours flight as well. So why you choose Dufi? Of course, we consider we have excellent location and a beautiful campus. Dalian is the most livable city and business center, center in the northeast of China. Uh, from a GDP point of view, we are the highest in the northeast of China. And as you can see, uh, different from Beijing and other cities, we are coastal city. The Dalian is around by ocean. Uh, we have a beautiful scenery, and the city is like uh, located in garden, and uh, we have lots of uh, zoos and uh, uh, theme parks, and we are famous for its tourism industry. Of course, when you come to Dalian, you will try different cuisines, and we are located by the ocean, so we have nice seafood, and we're close to South Korea, and uh, Japan. So that's why we have different kind of flavor of cuisines. And we are very famous for us, our uh, Japanese food and the South Korean barbecue as well, uh, except the, from the Chinese food. And uh, located in North of China, we have a distinguished uh, four different seasons. We have spring, as you can see, that is some pictures from our campus. We have so many sakura flowers. And summer, which is right now, and all the greens and the uh, and uh, very similar weather like uh, Beijing or Tianjin. And in the fall, which is we are, uh, I consider is the best season in Dalian. Is everything turned to golden colors. And uh, in the winter time, we do have snows. But in the snow, you will have a lot of enjoyment. And uh, I believe a lot of students from Europe from uh, like uh, Russia, Italy, and uh, other Southeast European countries, you are very familiar with this kind of weather. And in Dalian, we have so many hot spring resort and a skiing resort nearby as well. Okay, this is some beautiful pictures about our campus. Because we are located in the city center, so we are very convenient to anywhere. Uh, to, uh, we are very focused on the business majors, but I understand that today's topic is about uh, the Chinese language. So I'm going to quickly skip that one. And if the students interest about the Chinese language, after you study the Chinese language, get to HSK4, HSK5, of course, you can choose our bachelor degree and a master degree in different majors, especially field in the business management, accounting, for example, in the MOE evaluation, our accounting, business management, all ranked an A in China, which is top 5% in China. And uh, we have two Confucius schools, and so which means we have a lot of partnership overseas, and these students can apply to exchange overseas. Okay, so schools, and as you can see, most of them are business majors, but I'm going to talk about more about the Chinese language. For the Chinese language, as long as you are the high school graduate, over 16 years old, you can apply for our program. And our program has a half year and one semester courses and also have the one academic year courses. And uh, apart from the Chinese writing, listening, speaking, we also put a lot of elective, for example, the Chinese calligraphy and uh, the martial arts and other courses make your Chinese learning would be more interesting. And we are also going to focus on the business Chinese part as we are the big uh, university in the economics and the school and the social science as well. Our courses will be started from 
uh, we have two enrollment, which is spring enrollment and uh, the fall enrollment. So right now, if you interested in the March intake, which you can apply right now, and you can, uh, our application deadline is for the December. That is uh, the course's information about that. And apart from that, uh, we can see that all our students who want to apply for our program go through our online application system, study.bufe.edu.cn. You can just go to this website and register yourself. And for the fees, and of course, we have the regular fees for the Chinese language program is 16500 per year. It's 8800 per half semester. But we do have a lot of scholarship. As my colleague uh, from the Beijing, from Tianjin mentioned, we have so many like Chinese government scholarship. We do have the CSC scholarship and the International Chinese Language Teacher Scholarship as well. And those scholarships, you can just apply from the Yuhe Zhongxin, the, uh, the CSC website, and uh, the language for Chinese uh, Chinese Language Corporation and Education Center. And uh, those applications will be applied uh, for one academic year, you can apply it until the May, but for the March intake, you can apply until November. So if you want to apply, you can start uh, from our system and apply it as early as possible. So if you have any inquiries, please do email study at dufe.edu or email the scholarship at dufe.edu.cn. That is our WeChat, where sometimes we have a different programs we're put on the WeChat platform. I mean, that is uh, all the stuff I want to say today. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we do have a couple of questions from students to uh, to you. So um, for students applying for the Chinese language program, do they need to have an English proficiency certificate in order to apply? No, not necessary. The student can apply for our Chinese program. They don't necessarily to have the English proficiency. For example, we do have some students from uh, some countries which their English is very very credible and the Chinese is their zero beginning. Uh, for example, the student from the African area, because they're French speaking places, they come here. We have our faculty members have special technique can teach them, deliver them, no problem. Okay, that's very that's great for everyone that's interested. Um, is there a maximum age limit to apply? Uh maximum age to apply is 16. 16. Okay. Great. 16. So there's quite a lot of, uh, it's quite a long time for, for students. Um, yes, it is. So because we are very close to Japan, South Korea, so a lot of people after the retirement, they will come here to, for the Chinese language learning. So it's just kind of like a hobbies. Okay, great. Um, yes, and like you said, um, even though uh, Dongbei University of Finance and Economics might not be known for a Chinese language program, um, I do think that for a lot of students that, especially if they wish to um, study uh, something in finance and economics, and they, they first want to do a Chinese language program, or they want to improve their Chinese beforehand, um, this is a great option for them um, to First, go and do a Chinese language program, go enjoy the university, um, see how things are, get settled in, and then start applying for their bachelor's or their master's, et cetera. Um, later on, maybe they want to study in Chinese. Um, and also, like with myself, for example, a lot of students that apply, um, their intake is very different from a Chinese intake. So in China, you usually graduate in July, and then you start in September. Um, in a lot of other countries in the Southern Hemisphere, people graduate in December and they start in March. Um, so if you graduated in December, you still have a very long time to wait until uh, the next year, September. So it does give you a chance to also do something, go overseas, get used to the university. So this really is a great opportunity. And also with all the scholarships you mentioned, that is great. Also, regarding the dormitories, if someone is doing um, a non-degree program, um, are they still eligible to apply for a dormitory? 
yes, they are eligible for applied to dormitory. Okay, great, great. Okay, let's just check to see if there are any extra questions here. Uh, do the scholarships apply for the Chinese language program? Yes, the scholarship will apply for the Chinese program for one academic year or one, sem uh, one semester. Okay, great, great. Okay, that's all the questions we have over here. Thank you so much. It's also very Thank interesting to hear from the uh, Dalian univer uh, University and Dalian, um, since a lot of students are always interested in uh, going to Dalian as well. Thank you. Okay, great. Let me quickly. Continue here. Okay, so um, now you have seen all of the universities that have uh, presented here for our online open day for Chinese language programs, specifically spring intake Chinese language programs, since that is the biggest program that people are applying for for the spring intake. Um, I'm going to go over why you should apply on China admissions and also how you should apply. So very a very big thank you to the universities that have presented, namely East China University of Science and Technology, Beijing Language and Culture University's Online Chinese Education College, uh, Tianjin University, Beijing Institute of Technology, and Dongbei University of Finance and Economics. So um, now you're probably wondering, after seeing all these great universities, I want to apply, I want to apply, how can I apply? So um, you can apply on China admissions. So um, why should you apply? Uh, because we have a free service as well. Um, especially with our partner universities, um, you only need to apply for the, uh, you only need to pay the application fee that's necessary for the universities. And you can check to see which, you, some universities don't have an application fee, but the majority do. Um, and so you can check with, um, on our website, it breaks down the prices very, very um, easily to understand. Um, so, and then also it makes your on online application very easy as well. So you'll be asked to create a China admissions application portal and upload all your documents there. Then we'll be checking your documents to make sure everything is okay. We need to make sure that all the documents are standard, that they're uploaded correctly. Nothing is blurry, everything is visible. It's the right format, it's the right language. Um, so we'll let you know if some of your documents are wrong. We're not going to um, submit any documents that um, are incorrect. So. We check all the documents, make sure they're correct. Once everything has been approved, we then submit them to the university. We have a 5.9 rating out of five, and we've successfully helped over 3,800 students study abroad from 192 countries since 2015. So that's a very big track record that we have. And then we have award-winning support. Um, you, if you need any help, you can always send us an email. Um, you can also book a call with us to go over your study options as well. Um, we re respond very fast with our email, so you can get a response within the day that you've sent it um, on working days. And how can you apply? So like I showed before, um, on the website, you just click, you just need to search the course you want to study. Um, you can decide depending on if you want to study by university or want to, if you want to search by university, by major um, or by degree. So if you want to study a bachelor's, master's, PhD or a non-degree. Um, so you can just, let's say, for example, you want to study Chinese language program, you just type in Chinese language program. Um, and then you'll see all the different options that there are over there. Um, and then you can click on that and it shows you all of the information about that program, namely the deadlines, uh, the application fees, the tuition fees, um, when you when the start date is, the subjects that are taught, the required documents, um, information about the history of the university, pictures and videos of the university, the accommodation at the university. So it's very, very, very in-depth. Um, and it, it really does give a lot of information. Then you just need to click the apply now button and start the application process. If you are very uncertain 
um, about which program you want to study. Um, you can also book a free call with us. We offer one free call that you can book um, and we can go over your grades and your study options and your preferences and go over that as well. We also do have a plethora of um, live streams and videos that we have done on our Instagram and our YouTube going over our commonly asked questions every week um, and everything you need to know about studying Chinese language programs specifically because it's such a popular program. So if you want to go look up those videos as well and take a look at them, just go to our YouTube channel or our Instagram and you'll find it over there. Um, yes, and then it, it makes it much easier because you can apply online and you do have a lot of support. Um, so you don't need to physically mail anything, which some countries, you have, if you want to study abroad, you have to physically mail your documents over there. That's not necessary. You just need to scan your documents. Um, so it makes everything super easy to do. So here you can see a bit a small insight into um, our YouTube channel. So you can see that there's a lot of different universities. We do ranking universities. Recently, we, re we released an ebook um, on uh, everything you need to know um, when you arrive in China for international students. And we gave those, uh, we sent those books to students um, that had just been accepted um, for the 2023 intake. And we created specialized guides on using the transportation system in China um, and uh, how to register with the police and how to apply for different documents um, and getting used to university life and how to save money as a student and a lot of different um videos and guides that we've created and that's also all available for free on our youtube channel so there is really 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 a lot of very useful information over there for you to go check out so you can get started now by going to our website uh, chinaadmissions.com um, and you can also email us at apply at chinaadmissions.com um, to ask any questions that you have. You can also see that it is very easy to view our website on the phone as well. So you can, um, not having a, lot, a laptop also won't impact your um, application either. Thank you guys so much for joining today's open day. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that this has helped a lot of students with deciding where they want to go study, whether they want to study in Shanghai, Beijing, Tianjin, um, if they want to study in Dalian. There are also a lot of other universities as well. Um, so the, we have universities available in uh, the southern part of China, in Guangdong, Shenzhen, uh, in Kunming, in Chengdu, in lots of different places. So you can go and take a look at the different universities, but I am so glad that these universities have joined to give you a bit of an insight into the programs that are available right now. Thank you guys so much for joining and have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next live stream or the next uh, open day as well.